Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all having a great day thus far. And so I'll be taking you guys through what is currently happening across the North Atlantic with focus being on the Caribbean, of course, because a major rainfall increase is likely across sections of the region and it really has already begun for uh, some areas. So it's going to be a pretty wet week. And so before I go into details, Please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, so as we return to this satellite imagery here, we can see that there is some activity across some areas. Of course, we've got our five tropical waves out there, and one is noted in the Caribbean. Another is just about to enter the region. It is currently over parts of Guyana, and uh, there isn't much in association with that wave. Uh, let's zoom into some areas here. So looking in the vicinity of Northern South America, here we can definitely see lots of activity over parts of Venezuela. And uh, some activities also noted over sections of Colombia and, uh, of course, into the vicinity of Guyana and Suriname. Look into French Guiana, we're not seeing where too much is happening right now. But, uh, of course, rainfall activity is likely as we progress throughout today. We'll be taking a look at the uh, rainfall total maps uh, later down in this video. And so going up into the vicinity of Trinidad and Tobago, we're not seeing where too much is happening at the moment either. Now, drifting into the the Caribbean region here we see lots of activity uh, as we have all that instability all that moisture so uh, all this is favoring th the development of a lot of showers and thunderstorms and it is only going to get worse so uh, looking into the vicinity of eastern Cuba we see uh, more of those dark reds which indicates those areas of deeper convection that's where we find more rainfall activity we also see a bit of activity just in the vicinity of Jamaica so for these areas, for the Northern Caribbean, and even going over into parts of Central America, it's going to be a pretty rainy day. So uh, even in the Gulf of Mexico, there we have all of that shower and thunderstorm activity taking place. However, as we look in the east, conditions there contrast what is happening right now across the west because, of course, uh, there isn't there isn't much activity in the region. So going all the way from Hispaniola to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, uh, the Lesser Antilles, inclusive of Barbados, and of course, Trinidad and Tobago, and then over into the ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao, we're not seeing where much activity is taking place at the moment. So we've got some clouds moving in from uh, the tropical Atlantic some cloud clusters those might induce maybe some isolated showers here and there but for the most part nothing much is happening uh in the region right now in comparison to what is going on over in the west so now let's go ahead and move on to the rainfall totals and after which we're going to take a look at what models are expected in terms of that increased rainfall activity as well as potential development Okay, and so as we take a look at this map here, we can see that the Euro is expecting that there will be quite a bit of rainfall activity across most of the Caribbean. We see that uh, a lot of rainfall is expected across the northern Caribbean, extending into the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, also going over into Central America, especially along the eastern side of the Yucatan, going to Belize, parts of uh, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, and of course for northern South America, Colombia, as well as Venezuela, and also going to sections of Guyana and Suriname. But, uh, we're seeing that the model is expecting a little bit less rainfall for French Guiana. Uh, looking up into the vicinity of the BC Allen's uh, maybe a bit of rainfall activity in the vicinity of Bonaire, but uh, not seen where much is expected overall for these three islands. And of course, uh, looking up into uh, other areas, the Lesser Antilles, uh, again, inclusive of Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados, we're not seeing where too much is expected. Maybe a bit, bit more rainfall in the vicinity of Puerto Rico, but overall, the east is not expected to receive too much rainfall as we progress throughout today. And of course, we see that the GFS is uh, pretty much in agreement with with what the euro is expected maybe a bit more or less rainfall for some areas but overall we're seeing something very similar here and so of course if you're going out today uh, and your area is highlighted for quite a bit of rainfall activity please take all the necessary precautions guys do not take any unnecessary risks and please remember your umbrellas as well as maybe a jacket or so just in case it gets really cold and you have to uh, be out in that weather 
Now, in terms of that rainfall increase, what are our models expecting here? So we're going to be looking at the GFS icon and Euro. So, uh, of course, I always go through what these maps are for potential new viewers. And so uh, these black lines you see, they are called isobars and they join areas of equal pressure. And so uh, when they are closed in a circular manner and the number that you see is 1030 in millibars or lower, uh, that is a low pressure system which can sometimes be our tropical cyclones and so those colors that you see those greens and even yellows oranges they represent the precipitation rate so let's see what the gfs model is expecting and so there we have the forecast time and as you're going to be progressing to the end of this week go into thursday and friday there we can see lots of activity over parts of the greater antilles jamaica cuba uh hispaniola as well even that low pressure area developing but uh, as we head to the start of the new week we see that most of this activity is expected to be moving out here we have the euro and as we head to uh thursday of course start of the hurricane season it is showing that low pressure area developing in the gulf of mexico and take a look at that also expecting that increase in rainfall activity across the northern caribbean we have lots of those colors seen over parts of the greater antilles now as we head to saturday and go into uh sunday here we have the system making its way over uh, southern Florida and moving out into the Atlantic. And in addition, we also see that once that low is off the southeastern U.S., it is going to be intensifying. So the euro is expected intensification of that low pressure system. Now, going on to the icon model for the same time, going to Thursday and Friday, there we can see all of this activity, all this rainfall activity across the Northern Caribbean. And eventually we have that low pressure area make its way over Florida and into the waters of the Atlantic. And so uh, even notice how, yes, we have that low pressure area developing, but notice that we're not really seeing those circular isobars with it. And uh, most of that rainfall is not even completely around it. Now, that could be the effect uh, of the wind shear. So, uh, of course, that is a huge inhibiting factor when it comes on to tropical cyclone development. And uh, only time will really tell what is going to be happening, guys. But, of course, that rainfall increase is something that is definitely likely and it could even trigger flooding across some areas. So, all the areas that are going to be affected going to the Cayman Isles, Jamaica, Cuba, Hispaniola, the Bahamas, uh, even Florida, when that low pressure system develops and if it makes its way through the area with lots of activity, it can induce a lot of rainfall, which can lead to flooding and especially those flood prone areas. So, guys, please take all the necessary precautions and do not take any unnecessary risks. And of course, my channel is here to keep you updated on a daily basis in terms of what is happening out there across the tropics. And so uh, that is pretty much it for this update video. And I hope that you guys found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And you can also share your thoughts there. And remember to always be weatherwise.